Hello, my name is Richard Patel and I'll be presenting our study titled Contrast-Induced Acute Kidney Injury Following Coronary Angiography in Patients with End-Stage Liver Disease. Contrast-Induced Acute Kidney Injury, CIACI for short, following coronary angiography is a frequent complication with incident rates as high as 55%. CIACI following coronary angiography has been shown to be an independent predictor of mortality in CKD and non-CKD patients. And with this in mind, we've become increasingly concerned about the development of CIACI post-coronary angiography in ESLD patients an ever-growing population of patients that have an increased risk of AKI. To our knowledge, the incidence of CIACI following coronary angiography in ESLD patients has not been evaluated previously, and therefore our primary objective was to report the incidence of CIACI following coronary angiography in this patient population and to identify risk factors for the development of CIACI. Our secondary objective was to report all-cause mortality and risk factors for death in the entire cohort of ESLD patients undergoing coronary angiography. The study was conducted at a large academic tertiary care center in which we performed a retrospective review of 544 consecutive cardiac catheterizations in ESLD patients from 2003 to 2013. 365 cases were excluded due to pre-procedural dialysis, lack of contrast use, or absence of post-angiography serum creatinine. 179 cases were included in the final analysis, and CIACI was defined as a serum creatinine increase of either 25% or 0.5 milligrams per deciliter from baseline within a 72-hour period. Multivariable and Cox regression analysis was perform performed to identify risk factors for the development of CIACI and all-cause mortality, respectively. CIACI occurred in about 23% of our patients, and all-cause mortality was 52% in the CIACI group and 37% in the non-CIACI group, with a mean follow-up of 2.2 years. The two cohorts were similar with regards to age, sex, race, and BMI, and nearly two-thirds of the patients were male in both cohorts. Both groups had similar rates of diabetes, smoking, and CKD, but there was disparity in NYHA class 3 and 4 congestive heart failure, which was present in 41% of the patients in the CIACI group and 27% in the non-CIACI group. ACS as an indication for coronary angiography was 46% in the CIACI group and 40% in the non-CIACI group. Independent predictors of CIACI were found to be ICU admission with an odds ratio of 2.78 and baseline GFR with an odds ratio of 1.02. No differences were found with regards to contrast volume, contrast ratio, or contrast to eGFR ratio. Independent predictors of mortality were identified to be pre-angiography beta blocker use with a hazard ratio of 2.13, INR with a hazard ratio of 1.37, and Moran risk score with a hazard ratio of 1.13. Development of CIACI did confer a trend towards increased mortality, but was not statistically significant, with a hazard ratio of 1.78 and a p-value of 0 0.08. With this, our results suggest that the incidence of CIACI in ESLD patients following coronary angiography is elevated in comparison to the general inpatient population. Furthermore, risk factors for CIACI in our population were different than those previously developed for the general population.